This question is from Ryan Sexton from Indianapolis. There he is. He asked, do you ever regret killing off Laurie Strode? All right, here's the deal. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. did Halloween 1 and those other movies, and then I did Halloween 2. John didn't do Halloween 2. <laughs> I did Halloween 2. You know, picked up the moment Halloween 1 left off. Felt like I should be the same girl. I was very proud to be in Halloween 2. I never intended to be in another Halloween movie. And then, 20 years later, 19 years later, I called John and Deborah and said, you know, the movie's going to be 20 years old next year, and we're all still in show business. And it seems kind of crazy. I don't think there's ever been a movie that was 20 years old where all of the people involved in the movie are in a way more famous now than they were then. It's usually the opposite. I said, so it seems like this is an opportunity to do something that's never been done 20 years later. And so that's how H2O came about. Now, the idiot girl that I am is that I didn't go, you know what, this is all my idea, I'm gonna freaking produce it. So, sadly, I did not take on that role, and I should have. So what happened is, John ended up not doing it, although he started to do it. Then Deborah ended up not doing it. And it was um, Kevin Williamson kind of came on to do it. So now we're the kind of, like, thing is heating up. And I had said to them from the beginning. So the idea is 20 years later, her life is a mess because she's been on the run her whole life, hiding from this potential threat. She's an alcoholic, she's a dope fiend, she, her life is a, is a wreck. And obviously he comes back, but we create a scenario whereby she turns the table and says, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die clean because the life I'm living now is no life. I am not alive in this life. When you're running and afraid your whole life, you have no life. And there was a real sort of deep message of facing fear and living in truth. And if you face the fear, you can live. If you don't face the fear, you're dead anyway. And she was sort of dead anyway. So that was the idea of the movie. And I have said from the beginning, so we're gonna frickin' kill this fucker. You know, it's like, so with the end of the movie is that I end it. We're gonna end it here. And everybody was like, yeah, yeah, awesome. So the first script comes in, and it's, the script is good, and it's dark, and blah, blah, blah. And then the last scene, you know, something happens and you know, a car goes off a cliff or something, and uh, it's, you know, they've written it like, the flames reflect in her face and she knows it's over. I was like, no, 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 Remember the scene we talked about where he gets pressed in between the Beverly Hills High School pool? You remember in It's a Wonderful Life? You know, when they're dancing and they fall in the pool? That's a real Beverly Hills High School pool. The basketball court is on top of the pool. And it's still there, and it still moves. And I was like, no, 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 no. This is a private school, she's the headmistress. They have that pool. And no, 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 he's gonna fall into the crack, she's gonna shut the fucking pool on him and cut off his fucking head <laughs> with an ax. And they're like, yeah, 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 right, right. Script comes in, end of the thing, the car goes off the fucking cliff, and the light reflects in my face. And I, and now we're like a month away from shooting, and I'm really getting a panic because I, I don't understand. We have these meetings, we have these talks, and then some ambiguous ending. 
is written in. So I go to the office really pissed. <laughs> I walk in, and I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> I don't understand this. And we had a stake through the heart, we had a head chopped off, we had it all. And they looked at me and said, Jamie, there's a clause in the contract with Mustafa Akkad that says you can't kill him. <laughs> what? There is a clause that says we are not allowed to kill him. Now you fucking tell me! This is now a movie where they've hired actors, they've hired a crew, they've hired stunt people, they have done it all. We have locations, clothing. So now for me to go, I'm done, I'm out, I'm gone, I'm bouncing, to use your <laughs> crazy. You know, I'm gone. There's no way I am doing this again. And they said, how can we do this with you? I said, you can't. I am not doing this. The whole construction of the story is that this woman stops running, turns back, and faces him, mano a mana, until the death. And she's willing to die for this. And so, Kevin Williamson says, what if, Two words you never want to hear in a, in, a, in a production office. What if you and the audience think that you've killed him? I said, okay, what? what? They said, we do it where you kill him. I said, okay, but how do I? No, no, no. You kill him. You will. Take it to the end, and you will chop off his head. I said, and we know it's him. Yes, it's the guy in the mask. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So, and they said, will you accept that? Now, you have to remember, it was a payday for me. I mean, no, I'm not joking. I mean, I got paid. So I, there was, you know, when somebody contracts with you, and you're like, Maybe I'll get that new pair of shoes. You know what I mean? You kind of like spend the money a little in your head. You know, it was going to give a little cushion in my family. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the table here. It wasn't just like, you know. So they said, I said, okay. I think he's dead and everybody in the audience is going to think he's dead. Correct? Correct. They, they said, will you accept that? And I said, yeah. As long as, in the next movie, it opens with me in a mental institution because I have found out that the person that I killed was not him and was an innocent ambulance driver with kids and that it has sent her gone and then I have to, I then, get to die. Because I'm not gonna just like live like this limbo life. That's not gonna happen. And so that's why, sadly, I'm in resurrection. <laughs> sadly. But that is how it had to work. I did that movie in order to satisfy so that when you finished H2O, you all believed and understood, or hopefully you believed and understood that it was him, even though it was. So that was how that had to happen. So for me, you know, it's all good. It's all good. So I had to end it for myself. And so the best way to do it would be to have him kill me. So I am D E A F -ing D. <laughs> there is N O C H A N C E that I will ever be in another Halloween movie, unless <laughs> Malik Akkad comes up with a frickin' big-ass payday for Jamie, <laughs> who I might 
where I might ultimately turn it over to a charity. But I'm talking about like a big ass theater. And then I'll let them figure out a way of like to try that in fact I'm not dead. But until that moment, which I don't think is gonna happen, it's over. Okay. <laughs> so there will never be another Rotary Strode movie.